What's up people, this is Vishal and welcome to my second code along session. Here we'll be looking at some basic JavaScript problems and try to solve them together. So this is my face and let's get into the problem. So before we get into the problem, we look at our basic directory structure. We have a simple index.html file importing the JS that we want to execute on our browser. So coming to the problem. So we have a question here which says write a function to deep clone an object and uh, we have a expected input and uh, a given input and an expected output where uh, it says that the output should be deep cloned object where uh, assertion on input equal to equal to uh, output should always be false. So before we get into solving this problem, um, let's understand why we need to solve this problem. So uh, coming to our browser console, so let's see, uh, we'll just copy this input and say test equal to this. So we have our data inside test. So we'll create let clone equal to test. So clone also holds the same information now, but uh, here you'll see that clone equal to equal to test is true so uh, what this means is whatever the values I change inside test is going to affect clone as well and whatever the values I change inside clone is going to affect the test as well so uh, this is not what we want so that is one approach of destructure for cloning an object so we can do this by clone equal to triple dot test so now clone still holds the same information but uh, clone triple equal to test is equal to false now although this is a clone but uh, this is a very partial clone this will only uh, work on the uh, immediate keys of the object so it won't solve the problem with the nesting so let's see how so let's say I now now that we have created a clone of our test uh, let's say I want to change some value inside uh, our test uh, input so we go to past we go to two year of uh, we'll just set year to 2000 now when i see our test the past has the year as 2000 but when we go to clone the past inside the clone also has the year as 2000 which is what we don't want so hence we need to uh, come up with a solution which uh, actually creates a clone of everything inside the object so uh, now that the problem is clear and why we need to solve this problem is also clear let's uh, get into the uh, code okay so right now whoever want to uh, do this problem on their own just pause the video right here uh, try it on your own come back and uh, look at the solution with me and the people who want to do it along with me please uh, stick around and uh, let's look at the solution now <coughs> so uh, first let's get our input out from here and uh, put it in our test variable oops So once that is ready, we need a function now. We'll call it deep clone, and uh, it is going to take an input. And we'll console dot log and call our method now. Deep clone with test. Okay. Now let's look at the logic. So um, the basic here, let result equal to, we'll create an empty object because that's what we want. Uh, we might change this later in the code, but right now, for now, let's look at uh, the output that we are expecting. So we have an input of a test, uh, which is an object. So we'll uh, also create the result as an object. And uh, let's write return result. Okay, so now what we are going to do is uh, we need to visit each of the entries inside test and create a clone of that and store it in our uh, result. And that's what the deep clone is going to return at the end. Now to visit each of these um, entries, we will be using a for loop. 
So this time we are going to use for in loop, which is written like this. Sorry about that. Yeah. So the reason why we are using for in loop because uh, we want to iterate over each key in the object. The difference between for in and for off is for off expects uh, the input to be an iterable while an object is not an iterable. But for using for in, we can iterate over each key. When we pass input as an object, we can iterate over each key. When we pass input as an array, we will be uh, iterating over each index. Okay, so uh, now when the input is passed, the key will be holding uh, the value of passed. In the second iteration, it will be holding the value of uh, present. So what we want to do here is we want to uh, copy the data that is there on this input and paste it inside our result, right? So let's write result of key equal to, uh, we want to copy the input. So we can directly do result of key equal to input of key so a result of key equal to input of key just solves the immediate problem that is related to past and present but it doesn't look at the nested uh, uh, entries so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to use recursion again over here so why we are using recursion is because there is there is a bigger problem here and all these smaller problems are the subsets of the bigger problems so we need the, the we need to uh, solve this problem with recursion so that we can break down the bigger problem to smaller smaller problem and solve each of them and uh, return the value at the end so uh, now to use recursion we need to call this function again so we will say deep clone of input of key all right so what happens here now is uh, before we try to execute and see what is happening, let's do a basic check on what is happening in this code right now. So uh, the input that we receive here is this array, uh, this object, and uh, we try to loop over that object. And uh, since we are using for in loop, the key is going to store the value of the uh, keys. So that is on the first iteration, the key is going to be passed. So result of pass is equal to deep clone of input of past. So input of past is nothing but this array. So <clears throat> in the next uh, iteration, the input becomes an array, but the result that we are going to create at that time is going to be an object, So which is wrong. So we need to handle this case. So let's add a condition here. Array dot is array of input is going to be an empty array okay so if the input is an array we'll be uh, creating a result of an array if the input is an object let's uh, we'll be creating an uh, for anything else we are going to return an empty object for anything else which is including the number string and all those cases so we will be handling that scenario later but let's see what happens right now when we execute this so i refresh and we see that the copy has been created but the value inside each of these copies are not uh, rightly placed. So day is an empty object, month is an empty object, year is an empty object. So there's something wrong here. So let's see what is going on. Um, on the first iteration, we receive this input. The key in the first iteration in the for loop is going to be passed. And uh, the deep clone is going to have input of passed, which is an array. So in, in the next iteration, input becomes an array. Now result equal to array dot is array of input is true. So result is going to be array. Now for of let key in input. So key in this case, when the input is an array is going to be uh, the index. So uh, on the first iteration, the key is going to be zero. So result of zero equal to deep clone of input of zero, which is going to be day of 31, uh, day 31. Now in the next iteration, the input becomes this object day 31 and um, the result equal to array dot is array of input is going to be false in this case so result is equal to an empty object now in the loop for let key in input so key value is going to be day and uh, deep clone of input of key is that is going to be 31 so the in the next iteration the input becomes 31 
Now, in this case, uh, result equal to array dot is array of 31 is obviously false. So result is equal to an empty array. But um, on the for in loop, if the input is not iterable, we are uh, just skipping the for loop and just returning the result. So unlike for off loop, uh, for in loop is not going to return an uh, error. Uh, instead, it is just going to skip the for loop completely and return the result. So since the result over here is an empty object, we are just returning empty object and hence the uh, values for day, month and year over here. Um, so uh, we can fix this problem quite uh, easily. So we just need to make sure that before we reach the uh, for loop, we have to make sure that um, uh, the object, uh, the input is basically an array or an object. Okay, so our if condition is going to work on type of uh, input equal to equal to. Oh, actually, it's going to be not equal to object. So, and in this case, we are going to return our input. So what we are saying over here is if the input is not an object, we are going to return and uh, return the input. Okay. So you, you'll notice that uh, uh, we are not writing any condition for array because type of an array is also equal to an object. So this condition should suffice all our cases. And um, now we should be able to see our result. So let's save and uh, reload. Now we have our copy over here with past with all the data correctly placed and with present all the data correctly placed. But uh, now we need to test out a few things whether our solution has actually worked or not. So let's remove this console uh, and uh, let's hold the value inside a variable let um, clone equal to deep clone. Now, uh, a few console log statements. Console dot log uh, clone equal to equal to our test. This is the first check. Secondly, let's uh, try to modify test. So test dot past of two dot year equal to two thousand. So we are changing the value of uh, test now and uh, what we need to see is whether it affects our clone or not. So we'll put some console log statements again. Uh, Console.log first put our test then we'll repeat create a separator here and clone. So let's save this and execute. Okay, so now the first console log is uh, whether clone is equal to equal to test, which is false. So great. Uh, in the second console log, we are looking at test. So in the test, we where we modified the value uh, in the past. So the year is 2000, which is great. Now we have to make sure whether the clone is uh, also has remained unaffected by that change or not. So in the clone, we go to past. The year is still 2020. So our deep cloning has worked successfully and they are not referencing any values among each other. So uh, this is the solution guys. So that's all for this uh, solution. If you have um, any questions or anything, just uh, drop a comment in the comment section and uh, please share this video uh, with any other aspirants of front end engineering and uh, please uh, subscribe my channel for more such code alongs in the future. Thank you.